Well, I think that's around the 9th. Uh, let me just check my date. Well, it's actually the 10th. It's Sunday, uh, January the 10th, uh, 2021. Uh, well, we're waiting for the router to come back up again. The router had gone down. The Wi-Fi had gone down. The uh, uh, service had gone down. I had received a, uh, a uh, sort of a... Uh, uh, site not found and when that occurs typically uh here we go we'll come we're back up again typically uh what ends up happening is uh it it, it produces a, a message that the site can't be found that's an indicator that your router has gone down uh particularly if it's all across the network like that and so you have multiple devices you check uh two or three different devices if you're having a, a problem with the internet connection it's typically your router you reboot your router and that should bring things back up again. So let's see if, if that's actually the case. And no, it's not the case. I haven't. Uh, I'm not too sure what happened here. So let's uh, reboot everything. See why I didn't. Why I'm not getting the internet the way I should be getting the internet. Try another thing. See whether I got connectivity. It, nope, no connectivity on the internet just yet. So, so I'm gonna have to back out of that. Now, why I don't have connectivity to the internet, I'm not necessarily too sure. It could be an issue with the router. Uh, I'll sort of have to sort of check that out and sort of see what's going on. Let's see. Let's bring up another device. Do a test search. And I've got connectivity. So it's typically uh, it's something isolated to uh, the box here. Uh, I will in a second go and uh, reboot it, uh, reboot the box, so make sure that I have connection, uh, and then uh, try again, so uh, be back in a minute. And we are back, so let's see if we have that connectivity again. Let's tr we try loading the data again, no it's not doing that. So we have uh, some degree of connectivity. That, that wasn't working. And no, we're having issues. So it looks like I'll probably have to reboot the box. So let's get that done. And give me a second while I reboot the box. Waiting for the box to come back up. Okay, we have connectivity to the internet. Because I see uh, uh, the time set. If normally if the uh, we don't if we didn't have connect connectivity to the internet, the time wouldn't wouldn't set. So the time set, so we have connectivity. Let's see if we can get back into the browser again. Uh, let's see if we can get into a site. Yeah, we're back up again. And I'm checking out on the Tannerites channel, the uh, Yowie Vlogs. I'm at... Uh, 
basically, I'm at the Savannah uh, Tannerite, uh, Savannah Banana. And it looks like we're back in business again. It was a temporary outage. That happens every once in a while when I do a large throughput, uh, like uploading a video, which I just did. Uh, the, the the back research desk now with the media room is now fully functional. Let me adjust the camera. And so I can actually do work back here while I'm uh, on doing the YouTube stroll. So it's a functional bit. So you saw a bit of work back here. You see how things are functioning. And <laughs> I'm only, this is, uh, this is what happens is that time goes by in such a manner that you don't necessarily understand that you don't realize the time has gone by. And because time has gone by, sometimes you forget the vlog, particularly if you have, uh, I had to have a discussion with somebody. Uh, and it's, it's, it, it, sometimes people need to have to talk. And so I do, uh, lend myself, uh, to the person at the time, even if I'm sleeping or doing something else. Excuse me. Uh, so that the person can feel more comfortable, we can talk through various issues they're having. And it took some, took, took up so much time that I wasn't able to do, do any more vlogging during the day. So it, it, in between everything else I was doing. But typically I was supposed, should be going to church now, but uh, that's not going to happen because the ride I usually get in, which I go into church with, uh, with my dad, uh, wasn't, was feeling too tired. And so he's not going to go to church tomorrow. So I came back home after I had dinner with them. And uh, I'll see what I'll do uh, for the meditation. Uh, probably in a, in a few minutes, we'll start at 7 o'clock in, in the morning, and I'll probably watch all the way through. Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave that here for now. We'll see what type of vlogging I get done uh, in terms of the rest of the day. And so I'll talk to you later. Sometimes you have to start over again. Sometimes a new beginning isn't necessarily a good beginning because of the challenges that often occur. And this is certainly the case here where we have upgraded again. We have no opening uh, video for the vlog. We have no ending video for the vlog. It just, whenever the vlog ends, it ends. Whenever it starts, it starts. We're still doing daily. We're still vlogging daily. It's just what happens. I can't. Tell, I can't give you a prediction of when things are going to end and when they're going to start. That's sort of the name. I tried. Didn't work out that well. Um, particularly when it came down to editing and sort of seeing what, oh, what footage went where. Uh, so it's just a matter of uh, of bringing up a couple clips to fill in a particular amount of time in in a sequence, of course, uh, within the day or two days. And seeing where the conversation goes. And sometimes the conversation flows well. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, a lot of times the fatigue is just in there to such a degree. That it knocks me out. And, and it's difficult to function. But if the vlog is supposed to be a reality show. It's supposed to show reality. Then uh, having me vlog while I'm almost completely knocked out. And you're seeing the struggle going on there. That's part of the reality. That's, you know... I don't just film the, you know, the happy hunky-dory thing. And that's part of our conversation. That's part of the reality. And as we move into this further and further, you'll find that I don't necessarily have one side or the other. I take something more of a, a, a neutral gin approach, if you will. If you watch the, uh, 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 if you've ever seen uh, Aang, The Last Avatar, The Last Airbender, uh, then you would understand that the old man of the fi of the Fire Nation, uh, Zuko's uncle, is a practitioner of neutral gin, and that is a very relaxed, a very focused uh, position where uh, you, you, patience is the key. 
It's not that you're going to strike back at somebody. It, it, what it is, is it, particularly in these neutral jins and the jings, is what you do, or, or what we call a jing. It's you're, you're using, you're studying the opponent, you're studying the environment, you're getting to know the environment to such a degree that you become integrated within the environment itself. And so that you have a direct experience within the environment. Uh, more than something that's either intellectual, there's, you know, there's the heart, the mind, and the body. In order for any type of jing to work, or you, particularly the neutral jing to work, you have to be, have, be holistic. I mean, you have to have knowledge in all three, the heart, the mind, and the body. And in this case, once you have that done, you now have a quality holistic understanding, and then you can move forward from that pers perspective in this, uh, you know, the, the holistic understanding, and the holistic, uh, uh, on the holistic path. And this is kind of what occurs here, and it does take a while to get a hang of. I'm just restarting, uh, resubscribing to all the different channels I watch on the YouTube vlog, on the YouTube stroll. I realized I was on one wrong channel, it was an old channel that I hadn't really sort of uh, taken care of too well, and it was sort of an initial start. Uh, I had been on there, and uh, sort of advertising the wrong channel, so I just sort of switched it over to the proper channel, and that means that I have to resubscribe and uh, rewatch. And the, that time period that uh, has gone by has been more or less lost, and you're going back for re, -be re beginning. And this is, it's now uh, six uh, hours and thirty minutes into January tenth. It's Monday, and after our vlog here, after this segment, uh. I'm uh, changing places and going back to uh, the office uh, of sleep, to the research desk within sleep, going into that set, that set of experiences. Uh, and when I get up again, uh, probably from the indications that I've had, that there will be packages and another package opening. So, <laughs> more package opening. So, uh that's going to determine, that how it kind of determines how things go, is, is that what I'm, and I'll talk more about uh, my experiences that I've had over the last uh, couple of days uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the sleep realm. Uh, it's been quite interesting. It's been quite a, 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 a sort of an eye-waking opening experience that has caused me to change certain things and certain understandings. Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave this here for now, and uh, uh, see you when we uh, next meet. There's the bus. Now that we have everything situated, we can begin our vlog. Or at least this segment of it, anyways. So we're not uh, doing no longer. Is there going to be an opening vlog or an ending vlog? I mean, it's kind of pointless if you're doing this on a uh, on a 24-hour basis. If you're, if you're that's where your day goes, because there is no real end or beginning to the day. These are simply at random points. Uh, uh, it could be later or earlier, and. Particularly when you, because, uh, like, I just came from one area of work, which was in my, in my sleep, in my dreams, which we'll talk about later, uh, and uh, here for another. I've got some gaming to do, but more importantly, uh, or or firstly, um, um, at one o'clock in the afternoon on January tenth, and it's about thirteen hours. In two minutes into the day, uh, we've got a pack. We've got actually several package openings. Here's our first package. Now these aren't necessarily typically exciting things because 
they're they're replacing what I would typically do if I were going to go out and, and, and shop for household items. So that's what this is. It is typically household items. Oh, this is one thing I've been waiting for, hoping for. It is a knife sharpener. Very nice. I have these uh, knives, very nice knives uh, that uh, I cook with. And they need sharpening. But uh, I had ordered a while ago, but it, it took a while to come in. So that's your first thing. The second thing. the second package. Let's see what this is. Let's see if there's a simple way to open this. Package of smaller packages. <laughs> go the one, go through them one by one. Package. Contains another package. <laughs> it's like one of those Christmas jokes when you, or a birthday joke when someone uh, packages a gift inside another, you know, inside of, you know, many other boxes. Okay, so what is this? some type of thermal device or some type of uh, display. Now there's this one. The best way to open it. A USB cable. And last but not least. Okay. Yes. Spanner. I know what this is. <laughs> uh, 
it's not what I was expecting at all. So I will be contacting the company. Fortunately, when there are issues like this, this was supposed to be a mini fridge. But it's simply the temperature controller on this. This was supposed to be a toolkit, but they sent you one wrench. This was a, supposed to be a high speed data cable. It should have been for uh, USB C, but it isn't. So I will be contacting the company and getting my money back because this is not what was in the picture. So, uh, fortunately, when this occurs, and it really do rarely does occur, we've seen oh, how many of pockets over here, and it typically is what it is. Uh, you contact the company and you uh, that, that does the shipping and uh, uh, the mall, and you get your money back. So that's what I will be doing. There will be a return. And uh, we'll go from there. Anyways, uh, this is it for now. That is our... Oh, no, no, it's not. That's almost what I got. I got a package from Amazon. Containing three things. It's... Uh, cotton candy, the, 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 the flocking sugar. I got the hose uh, needed uh, the hose needed to uh, bring the water from the sink to the bathtub so I now have an inline uh, for uh, the bathtub and down here a little more cumbersome to bring up and I got this is why you have the cotton can candy. They've so got the cotton candy machine. So I'm rounding off my kitchen in the Kauai Tea House. Fixing, thing fixing things up. And uh, that's the going to be the uh, next addition to it. That's gonna, It's going to be uh, the cotton candy. That's my candy making area. Yeah, I'm beginning work on chocolate. I'll be doing other uh, sugar uh, type forms of baking. Uh, and candy making, getting into the candy making. So that's the beginning of that. It's a, it is, uh, for me, uh, an in-between time for, for, for sleep and whatever. So, But I do have to do some gaming. There's some things I have to do to sort of set and protect the shields, the, 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 the protect the kingdoms. Uh, once that's done, I'm going back to the other realm and oh, continuing the work there. We'll discuss that when I come back tonight from my parents' house. And we're sitting and doing uh, the YouTube show. I will have a discussion, a conversation with you on that. Uh, what's going on in, uh, in, in the dreams? It is quite interesting, but it's also quite detailed. 